So we've showed you how to overclock your PC using your BIOS, right. and it's you know, and that's going to allow you know any, anybody to speed up their memory, their processor, their their entire system. Right. Um, and and what we learned from that is that it's you know totally doable. Yep. Not super complicated. Tons of knobs to turn. But lots of little settings, lots of things to, to figure out, lots of trial and error. Yeah. Um, Intel has some software called the Desktop Control Software. Right. Intel Desktop Control Center. Oh, Intel Desktop Control, Control Center. Center. Yeah. And this is what's going to make life really easy for anybody that wants to overclock their system and Correct. doesn't want to jump into the BIOS. How does this one work? Right. So what you do is, um, first of all, you can get this utility from the, uh, the Intel website. Okay. So just go to intel.com and look for uh, Intel Desktop Control Center. And um, we've loaded it already, so I'll start it up. Uh, it'll load here and then it'll bring us uh, up to the, the application and take a couple seconds. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. All right. So you can, it, it gives you a couple of things to look at. It, it gives you all your um, your CPU settings, your CPU okay. current CPU voltage, your uncore voltage. Um, it gives you some indication of where you are with respect to the different power levels. Okay. Um, it tells you if you've got turbo. Um, you know, it tells you your host, your, your host clock frequency, your B clock frequency, and it gives you some temperatures. Um, talks a little bit about your memory and your memory timing. All right. Um, and then it shows you your speed of your different buses, so your PCI uh, Express bus, your PCI bus, and then your memory bus. Okay. So there's a bunch of different things you can do in here. The main thing that you know that we want to look at, or the the easy thing, the easy way to do it, is click over here on Auto Tune. And once you click Auto Tune, it'll give you a warning here. And then it'll go through and it'll basically allow you to do all of the stuff that we did in the BIOS. It'll do it automatically. Okay. Let's go here. We'll, we're going to, there, there's a couple of settings here and this, it's, it's basically saying how extreme do you want to do this? Okay. Do you want to go push it all the way or do you want to kind of be a little bit conservative? We'll leave it at the uh, um, conservative, kind of a conservative space and we'll let it do its thing. Okay, and then once you let it do its thing, it just kind of runs through, and, it, and it, so what it does, it basically tests all your system tests hardware, different settings, to right. figure out what's going to work. Exactly, and it right, goes cool. through and it picks your optimal, uh, your optimal uh, overclocking settings. All right, so it's gone through, it's yep. done its auto tune. Uh, when you actually do it with the software, you see the computer reboot a bunch of times. It yep. goes through, scans everything. So. What's the result of the of the auto tune? What are we being told by the software? Yeah, here? so at the end you get a summary and you, it shows you the def just the same thing that you would see in the BIOS. It shows you the default, shows right. you the original where you started, and it shows you what's active. Um, and so what we've done is we've increased um, the things that you really want to look at are the four core ratio limit, um, the three, the two, and the one core ratio limit. So okay. one core ratio limit is how fast am I going to be running if I'm only using one core? All right. right. So that. The, the, the ratio was 28, so it's 28 times, the frequency is going to be 28 times the base clock, which is 133. still 133. Right. It didn't change the base clock. But what it did, it did is up the CPU voltage, and I think it upped some of the uh, current and wattage over, uh, override limits. So right. basically it just gave it a little more freedom to um, absorb a little more right. power, sink a little more power. And if, and if our machine maybe had like better cooling and all that yes, stuff, right. the, so the IDs may have gone up a little bit. It. Right, all that's going to affect and this, uh, memory and this is, as well. And this is also giving us kind of a baseline that we can then... Stable, a baseline, right. stable configuration. So, so now we have this nice baseline that we can then take the software and start... Start tweaking from there. Cranking more stuff up, right? Exactly. All right, so how do we do that? Because this stuff is really, really cool. What's the... What's like... like, like, what, like how in the software would you then move on to... to continuing to increase the speed of the system. Sure, so you can go back to the, the app itself. Okay. Right, and then you can go, um, you can hit uh, modify here and then it'll give you a warning saying that you're gonna right. change your stuff. Um, it'll bring up a screen so we can go in and we can start changing things just okay. like we changed in the BIOS. So right on. Same, same types of settings here. Uh, we can go there, we can apply it and then basically the system will take care of the um, updating. Uh, some of these have you know, are required to reboot, so speed steps, now, CPU voltage. Now, if with this software, now we were talking, we were talking about this. The, this motherboard has a button on it that will Correct. that will allow you that if everything goes wrong, you can push the button and, it, and everything goes and it, back to right, default. It, it'll bring you back to your default bias. Um, if if you don't have that and you've got it and you, and you take and the software pushes things too far, what's mm -hmm. the what's the result? How so there's you, a couple of things. It depends on your bias. Okay. Um, to, depends on the the board manufacturer, but there's a couple of different things. So this board has three different. Uh, 
um, I guess you could say, uh, overrides. Fail to, safes. Fail safes, right, yes. exactly. Fail safes to get back to your regular bias. So it's got a watchdog timer, so if okay. the system never boots, it'll say, it'll figure, hey, well, something went wrong, I'm going to go back and change the, the, the settings back, and it'll, you'll see okay. a uh, message up, you know, see a message come up when the system reboots. Um, so that's the watchdog, fail safe watchdog timer. Then you have the back to bias button on for this particular board. Then ultimately, if you, you have a, if you screwed up so bad that you can't b get back, then you can do the CMOS clear and that'll set, reset okay. all your CMOS settings. Cool, but this is definitely a really cool way to be able to start getting into this yeah. stuff. So yeah. if you get one of these, if you get one of these brand new Core i7 unlocked chips, uh, this gives you a, a, you have no excuse now to not, right. to not start right. getting into really tuning up your computer because it's all right here, it's real easy to use, and then once you start doing this, then you can start adding the sweet cooling right. systems and the, and the extra and fans all the stuff, and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, right exactly. on. <laughs> well, bro, thank you very much for no hanging out to show us how easy it is to use this software because it really is a piece of cake. Yeah. Literally, if you want to just... If you want it to be super easy, it's one click. Right. Like you exactly. just click auto tune. Click auto tune and you're good to go. And you're overclocked. That's right. Very, very nice. So that's how you do it with the software, with the BIOS, uh, with these brand new uh, core i5 and i7 unlocked CPUs. That's right. Thank you very much, Milton. Appreciate no it.